I will need to do something about this here. Mm, let's see, let's see. Oh, what, what should I do? What should I do? What did I do the last time that this happened? I think it's been about 3,000 years since a human has wandered into my side of the woods. <sighs> did I eat them? I can't remember. Did I enchant them? Did I put an everlasting love spell? I can't remember. Gosh, it's been so long. Mm -hmm. No matter, no matter, it's still my task to deal with, and I will deal with it nonetheless. Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, little human. Wakey, wakey, it's time to wake up now. Hi. Hi, yeah. Hi, little human. Don't be frightened, I am just... A humble wood nymph. Nothing to fear here. Nothing to worry about. Although I will say, not all nymphs are as kind as me, so you are very, very fortunate to have ended up in my side of this forest. Were you wandering around by yourself? Such a dangerous thing for humans to be doing. Didn't you learn that in your human schools, that you shouldn't be wandering without a friend? Hmm, that's alright. Did you fall asleep while you were listening to my music? Hmm, yes, it's happened before. Although, I do want to just put out there into the air that that song was supposed to be private. It was not meant to be for your listening ears. So, yeah, that was a little bit rude of you to eavesdrop on my, um, freedom of expression, but that's alright. I hope you enjoyed what you heard. Um, I was writing a song for another nymph that I seem to have developed some feelings for, um, in nymph culture, it is only customary to write a song to someone you are trying to court. Uh, it is just a way to show them that you're interested and perhaps see if your melodies match and harmonize, yes? Mm. We'll see. I have high hopes, but um, I've never shot my shot, as you humans like to say, so... We will see. We will see. Hmm. You were sleeping for quite some time. How are you feeling, my human friend? Oh, how rude of me not to introduce myself to you. My name is Cherie. Like I said, I'm a wood nymph. Um, this is my domain of the forest, and um, I am here all the time, but some, some days it's very hard to find me because well, I don't want to be found, so don't come looking, okay? This is by sheer coincidence that I am showing myself to you, and I was also very curious as to how you ended up right here with me. You must have come a long, long way. Are you feeling tired? Hmm. I see, I see. Well, no matter. Some tools that I can use to help you sleep, some gadgets and some gizmos. If you're interested in a little nymph magic, mm, have you ever dabbled in such before? Oh, yes, I see, I see. Mm, brilliant. Well, I do happen to have here my trusty notebook where I catalog all of my own. Um, misfortunes and shortcomings, and it seems as though you are personally having some issues of your own, yes? You said you're feeling tired. Um, would you mind 
just giving me a brief synopsis of what's wrong with you today. I'm gonna get my pen here. Mm, yes. Alright, so if you wouldn't mind, could you tell me briefly what has been going on with you lately? Mm, headaches. Okay, and anything else? Some stomach pain. Mm hmm Blurry vision. Sure, sure. Mm. Shortness of breath. Oh, that is a concerning one. Okay. And anything else? Oh, oh, I don't think I needed to know that, but I, I will write it down just for posterity's sake, because you told me. I don't think that that's important. I'm glad you told me anyways. Thanks for thanks for letting me know. Anything else? Okay. I'm just going to um look over my notes really briefly. Mm. Oh yes. Sooner. Mm, it looks like you've got a case of the blues. Oh, tragic for you. But it's also your lucky day. You have come to the best nymph doctor in town. I have exactly what you need to cure you of your blues and turn you back to your bright, bright green. Everyone knows that green is the best color to be. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna get some stuff together to make little potion here. Oh, also, I forgot to introduce you. This is my friend, Harold. Harold is, um, a little shy at times, but just know he is here keeping us company, so. Yes, I love Harold. He's always here with me. Yes, he was hand-whittled by my father, oh, thousands of years ago, so he's been around for quite a long time. He's a very old family friend, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. Anywho. Um, let's see, so I'm going to make you a little bit of a potion, okay? And I'm gonna have you drink a few drops of this, so I'm just going to open up our vessel that we are going to use for you today. Um, this bottle has seen some of the most magical potions that this land has to offer, and the nymph species specifically. So, just know that this vessel alone is going to enchant your potion. I'm, of course, going to work my own magic on it, but this vessel itself. indeed. And then I have some of these dried flowers that I've gathered. Each flower is from a different generation of plants, and every year the plants give out a different quality than the year before. So each petal that falls into your potion will restore you and balance you just as you are meant to be. I'm just going to open smell incredible. Mm, kind of like a dried rose hip. Nice sensual smell. Yes, I have your potion vial here, and I'm 
As you can hear, they are nice and dry. I have been drying them for the last, oh, it's been about 700 years with this batch. Mm. Yeah, I go through them pretty quickly. I am making a lot of potions for the animals in the forest and whatnot, but anyway. Alright, here we are. Seems to be a good amount. Good amount. Mm, yes. So I'm just going to enchant this. Mm. And I'm just going to mix this potion up. Mix, mix, mix. Good. Focus on the bottle. And focus on me. really a place for a human to be, so you should probably um, get on out of here as soon as possible, I would recommend. Okay, well, toodaloo, friend.